Oh, is that the yeah. <laughs> 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 Bitch! This is Bougie Barbie here. <laughs> I'm just gonna pour myself a little drink real fast. Cause it's Friday night. And I'm about to be feeling really great answering these questions. Oh, that's good. Hey you guys, it's me Kimora Black and I'm finally going to answer some of you guys' favorite questions. Let me just turn on my handy dandy iPad. Oh my god. We, we did really good. We have 412 questions. Do my best to answer as much as these I can, but I'm gonna limit it down because you guys got really crazy and really rated R on me that that can come later. Okay, so I'm gonna answer some questions, you guys, that I can't say how much I appreciate these questions because you guys literally make this so amazing for me in this experience and my rude journey is gonna be fabulous and it's only the beginning. But I'm gonna answer some questions for you guys. I think the, the wine is kicking in a little bit. Oh, I love this one. Favorite part about living in Las Vegas. Honey, in Las Vegas, we do not need a time. Like, I can party all night. I start actually in Las Vegas, I get ready at 1 a.m. and don't come home until like 5 a.m. So that's the great thing about Las Vegas. That's a rated R question. Rhymes with click. <laughs> How big is your click? Okay, well, we can't go there yet. If I get to like 20,000 subscribers, I'll tell you guys how big my click is. How much Botox have you had? I have had zero. And I love Botox. But I actually have no Botox. I really don't. I, I, I would tell you if I had Botox. Because I'm very proud of people that took the time to get Botox. Because I look up to those people very much. But no Botox. Nothing. Why do I paint myself lighter? Because I actually don't go lighter. I'm trying to go darker. So if anyone out there that knows how to paint, please teach me. Because I don't know why, apparently until now. But thank you. Let's get a little deep. What inspires your drag aesthetic? Now, I really am really fond of the girl behind me. Oh, oh there you are. Y'all see her? Of course you guys see her. She has 90 million followers. So you guys know it's like, I, you know, honestly, to, to, be, to be real, uh, my drag aesthetic is, I love pussy cunt drag. I love, you know, like, for you to step out the box, be a cunt, be mean, be hot, be the center of attention that no one can ever take from you. And that's why I created Kimura Black to be that girl. Like, she's not a mean girl. She, she doesn't bully. She doesn't think she's better. You guys make it seem like she's better than everybody. So that's exactly why I built Kimura, the Kimura Empire, is because she's just so confident in herself and she has one life and she's gonna take it full throttle. You know, and that's why I love being in drag because I get that confidence. When I'm a guy, I'm really shy. <laughs> I'm very shy. But yeah, my, my drag aesthetic is it's very cunt. It's fun. She's hot. She's sexy. She's sweet. She's, you know, she's basically the girl that you want to hang out with. But I mean, you guys might be shy to meet her at first because that's, you know, her appearance is pretty strong. I mean, she's bronze. Like, I would be terrified to walk up to somebody that's bronze, you know, like, I mean, because, you know, they take very good care of their skin color, and I love that, so, but like I said, Kimora Black is very just sexy and hot, and her aesthetic is just sex, like, she sells sex, you know, like, I mean, look at Black China, look at Kim Kardashian, like, look how they sell sex, you hate her, but you love her, that's just me, just like, y'all like my nails, huh, look at her, no, my mom didn't do them today, I did these, you know, Another girl did it. She was actually Filipino. For all you, you know, people out there that think Vietnamese people only do nails. She was Filipino, because I didn't understand what she was saying. Do you like bread? I can eat bread all day. There you go. <laughs> That's question of the freaking day, man. <laughs> if you saw a man walking down the street shirtless and he had no nipples, would you question the fact that he was shirtless or the fact that he had no nipples first? What street am I walking on? Because this sounds scary as shit. 
that there's people out with no nipples. I'm kind of concerned, but honestly, I think I would be like, I mean, I would honestly say, why is your nipple? Because that's a little concerning, but it depends on the time. Like if it's late at night, I'd be down for you. If it's not late at night, I'd be like, where's your nipples? Would you send me a shout? Yes, Azoras925, I love you. Yeah, I'm gonna need, I need a whole nother bottle for the, these questions. So this is the question that I probably got asked the most. To literally mark this moment. And trust me, I'll tell the truth. And all the people out there that's watching this, y'all know who I am and y'all know I'm telling the truth. If you don't believe me, I love you anyways. I love you because you're amazing and you don't believe me. Kimora Black, are your cheekbones fake? Yeah, are they fake? And yes, America, my cheekbones are completely real. And here, look, and I'm gonna show y'all they are real because I love, love plastic surgery. Trust me, in 10 years, don't throw me down the street or down the stairs because I will probably fall apart. But my cheekbones are real, I promise you. And here, I want you to zoom up and I want you to go like this. Look, they're real. You see this? This is fucking real. Like Tyra Banks ain't got this. She got a forehead. This is real. Do y'all question Tyra Banks' forehead? No. So don't question these. Like these are fucking real. But the other thing is like when I have to buy sunglasses like from Versace, like they never make glasses to fit my face right. So I always have an issue. So for people that don't have cheekbones, like really love yourself because having big cheekbones sucks sometimes because when you want to buy like nice pair of sunglasses or you want to go snorkeling in the fucking ocean and you can't because water is coming in on my left side and not on the right side so that's what i have to deal with so it's not all fancy and pretty it is actually a struggle but yes kimura black's cheekbones are fucking real and when you see me if you give me five dollars i will let you touch my fucking cheekbones i promise Whew, I need that drink. are you crazy Ch chaku or cunt? I'm not crazy. I really, I'm not crazy. My psychiatrist says I'm fine. Actually, my psychiatrist didn't even give me my scores. So I don't even know. So, but I don't think I'm crazy. Ch what is the what the fuck is chaku? I don't think I'm not, but I am a cunt. Oh, that's Kimura though. As as Vaughn, I'm telling you, like when I'm Vaughn, I'm really nice. Like I'm actually really like cool. Like I, you know, I'm cool. I'm cool like Aja. You know what I mean? Like me, hey Aja. I like to act just like you. Like hey. All my ladies and my sisters this season, I love you all dearly, truly, individually. You know, like I love y'all. I've never had more than one girlfriend in my entire life. See, I'm friends with like hot guys and buff guys. You know, I don't have girlfriends and all this shit. You know, cause I, you know, I just don't like. I have hot guys and beards and daddies that think I'm like the little like girl that hangs out with them all the time, you know, like whatever. But I love you guys so much and I can't wait to do projects with you in the future. But yeah, you guys are gonna love this season. Mm. Pretty sickening. Um, oh man, you guys are going in on these damn questions. I love you guys so much for asking these questions because I had no idea what to talk about because. I mean, I could talk about me all day, but I guess I'm gonna answer some questions. Make sure you're keeping up with Kimura and subscribe! You know what your cheekbones are actually called? They're called zygomas. They're called a what? Zygomas. Zygomas? Yeah, that's the skeletal structure. That sounds like sushi. <laughs> <laughs> like, she actually.